G'day GF crew, it's me again. This is your technique tips again. This time I'm going to show you how to do a clean and press. Probably one of the hardest things to get correct in our weights classes, the pump class and the hit strength class. Hit circuit as well we tend to do them. So here's some good tips on how to get that correct technique. So you're using the correct muscles and getting the most out of your workout. Yep. All right, I've got my bar organized back here. So normally it's a, it's a big muscle group. So you're using your back, your shoulders, your core, and your legs. Big muscle groups, big moves, so you should have a decent amount of weight on, unless you've got shoulder problems, then you don't go too heavy. So to start, we have your set position. So feet should be under your hips. Now most people's hips aren't out here. So don't stand like this when you're doing a cleaner press or anything, really unless you're doing a wide squat. Feet under your hips, knees are soft, abs are in and shoulders are back. So squeeze your shoulder blades together. Nice posture. That's your set position. You use that for most things in all of our classes that we do. When you grab the bar, you grab it by bending your knees. Pull the bar up to your thighs. Thumbs should be just able to scrape those thighs when you're in that set position. That's where your hand grip is. Shoulders are still back, knees are bent, abs are on. Now the first part of a clean and press is an upright row, or what we do in pump is a high pull. So we bring the bar up to lower chest, using our elbows, right? So we don't have handbag hands, we don't bring it up like this, like so. We bring it up using the elbows, and all we do is flip and squat into it. So that's the first part. What I don't want to see is this, where you bring the bar out. So that's a reverse curl. My elbows don't move, right? So they stay low. That is a whole other exercise that we do working your forearms. You don't want to do that. We work in the back and shoulders. So, side profile when I do it like this, we bring up, squat, and down. So that is the first part of our clean and press. Squat and down. The second part is the press. So we bring it up, squat, press, then we push through the heels to the ceiling and then catch using the squat and then elbows bring the bar back down the body. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Side view, imagine this is on a bar that runs from ceiling to floor. You should not be able to bring, this is the wrong thing to do, so we go like this, and then back down again. See what happens to my back? Bad. So, bring the bar up, the bar, flip, push to the roof, back down, and then down the body. So the bar stays close to your body the whole time. As if you're trying to pull your t-shirt up, and then on the way down, you're pushing it down again, nice and close to the body. Always use your legs as the bar gets heavier. So you come down one, two, three, four. Drop, push, and down. That is your clean and press. It's a great movement to get the heart rate up, as you can tell. Always bend your knees to put that bar down on the floor again as well. So big moves. Practice those. They do take a bit of practicing, the clean and presses, but make sure you're not doing reverse curls because you're not working the correct muscles if you're doing those. Practice, get into the class, and enjoy the clean and press. And you'll get as puffed as I do. See you guys. Thanks for watching.